In the recent past, cases of truancy have been rampant, with either students or pupils reported to have absconded school. The problem sometimes gets worse to the point of minors being impregnated, causing them to miss out on education. My name is Philip Nganda, and what I do, I make and sell these biometric attendance systems to schools. They are for students for clocking in, clocking out wherever they arrive or leave the school premises. What they do is that, is that they just click and it will send an SMS to the parent uh, that so and so, maybe Philip has been released from this school, maybe St. Teresa school at this time uh, or has left at, the, at a given time. The technology behind it is that uh, there's a chip which has been program programmed. I did some programming so that uh, uh, the chip can know when a student uh, places a figure here and it will mention the name and then it will send an SMS. So they are just programmed chips. First of all, the students' names are taken and uh, there's an Excel sheet in the, in the memory card here. So what they do is that they take the memory card out and they will add the names and the contacts of the parents. So the names of the students and the contacts of the parent. Then they enroll the students. The machine will automatically call them by their name when it is given the command to enroll. And the machine is also controlled using a phone. You control it using a phone so that uh, you can first of all enroll the students. And it, it also has another function whereby you can also use the machine to send SMSs to the parents, other general SMSs. Maybe you want to notify them of a meeting on Saturday or anything. You use the machine, it will send the messages. The reason as to why it is important is that uh, sometimes the students are released from the school and they don't arrive uh, at the right time, maybe at home, and the parent will start calling the teachers and asking uh, where about the whereabouts of the the students uh, but when the students once uh, just clocks in or clocks out they to inform the parent and the student will be accountable to the parent i'm looking forward to sell to selling the gadgets to almost all the schools in kenya and the neighboring countries because it's, it will be very useful for the students and the parents an offline biometric system and so how exactly does it work what it does it is sends an SMS once the students are, student al arrives or leaves the school premises. They just have to clock in or clock out. They will place, place their finger here. It will say, hi Philip, bye bye or welcome, depending on the time. And then it will send an SMS within five seconds to the parent. Uh, the SMS are, has already arrived here. Philip has been released from school at uh, 12, 12, 12 ex the exact time then uh, the parent will know that the student has been released from the school. It can also be used uh, by the teachers, the principals and the teachers to know, to know when the, the staff or the, uh, the other teachers arrive in the school premises through the SMS peer as well. In case the school wants to send uh, general SMSs to the parent, they will just send an SMS. For example, send SMS, then send it to the machine. And then you start typing the, the SMS. The machine is re rechargeable, as you have said. It can be used in every part of Kenya. And when I, while I was work, making the machine, I was looking forward to reaching every school, even those small schools everywhere in Kenya, so that they, they can maybe afford it and use it to solve the problem which, was, which is still arising. So the other point is that uh, the machine I made it. I also made sure that the, anybody could control the machine within the institution as long as they are allowed by the machine. So you don't have to have a software or a server in, in order for you to use the machine. And it is also very durable. Everything is controlled using SMS. It's out of Kitaka when enroll new users, you just use an SMS. It will enroll them, it will call them by their names. I added the, some more features like the cloud backup whereby you can access the data anywhere in the world or even uh, other institutions can get the data, can get to see the data. Even the principals can see the data for the old school. For The Innovator, this week on KTN News, I'm Brian George Otieno.